We all want the capacity edge over our competitors. Now, most of us may consider size, but do we consider weight too? Mike here has all the answers with the Dugard 1600 XP machine. Mike, this machine, it's a big beast of a machine, isn't it? It is a big old baby, Lindsay, you're <laughs> absolutely right, yeah. Um, 1630 in the X, 850 in Y with 815 in Z, it's got capacity to take big jobs. But it's a heavy machine too, isn't it? It is, because it's a cast iron frame um, with roller guideways on, it weighs in at 12 and a half tonne. That's a pretty heavy machine, but what's that going to do for the engineer? Well, I think it gives two opportunities, really. People machining heavier type materials, it gives them the strength and the rigidity. With the counterbalanced head on there, you can do decent cuts on heavier materials. But of course, if, if, with the capacity this machine has, if you've got larger fabrications, then it gives you the opportunity to put those fabrications on and be able to machine those with confidence that the machine's rigid enough that it probably won't vibrate when you're doing your cutting. Right, okay, and the weight on the table? Uh, three and a half tons it can take on the table. Three and a half tons? Three and a half tons, yeah. Blue I wouldn't fancy neck. lifting it, would you? No, no, I certainly wouldn't. You'd need, and of course, you'd need the crane to be using that, so it's easy access as well. Yeah, which is why the rail that supports the door is further back, so when the table's forward, we can obviously lift in and get a big job in there using a crane facility. Logistics as well. So why has it got the XP on the end? What does that stand um, for? XP on our range stands for extra performance. So the XP machines have through spindle coolant as standard. Mm. They have the, the big roller bearings, THK roller bearings on there, and they have swarf conveyors on as well as standard. Yeah, because you've got the augers as well, haven't you, pushing that swarf Absolutely, away. if you're doing a lot of heavy machining, there's going to be a lot of swarf, and you don't want to be getting in there with a the shovel. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> um, the, the control system, any options? Uh, we here? offer three, four options on the machine, actually. We offer it with Fanuc OIMF, we offer it with Siemens 828D, we also offer it with Hyde 9 TNC 620, or we offer it with the Mitsubishi M830 control. Okay. So a control to suit everybody, really. E exactly that. And the mechanics behind this, of course, you can see on there you've got the option to have a fourth axis, but let's talk about that spindle. Of course, you're, you're machining big, heavy parts. Have you got that power in there? We have. That's, again, part of the extra performance, gives you a bigger rating on the spindle. Um, it is a 40 taper, but with modern tooling technology, it's not about big depths of cut these days. It's all about small the depths but yeah. going faster and because this machine can do 33 meters a minute rapid traverse we're not compromising on your cycle times you're certainly not are you no. okay so all in all who's looking at this machine is going to benefit in speaking to yourselves about the xp the two, two brands of people really people with larger jobs need more capacity either those fabrication type guys as we've said we do get some customers who actually want to get more on the table in terms of smaller parts but more of them so yeah. they don't have to be opening the door and changing the part over more often and this isn't the biggest machine is it oh no we do bigger than this there are two biggest bigger sizes than this there's a two meter and a 2.6 meter Brilliant. Okay, so if you're looking at those heavy parts, bigger parts, then make sure you're speaking to Dugard and Mike over here about their huge range of machines.